there's been a lot of discussion and, and conversations around the proliferation of data sources in organizations. And I think it's really interesting. So, you know, when I started work, uh, we were still sending out paper reports. And then, then Excel came along and Excel reports were being sent out. And then we thought, well, let's, let's try and control that a little bit. Let's start sending sort of dashboards and we'll build some dashboards, centralized dashboards, and on and on it goes. And the reality is that we haven't got rid of any of those. They still exist. Uh, you know, we still send out paper. We still see Excel reports. We still see dashboards. People are consuming more and more data sources. And it's very much like the news. You still have your gossiping next door neighbor. On top of that, you've got the newspaper, you've got the you know, got TV news, you've got the internet. And the reality is we just have learned to receive news and consume from all these different channels. And it's exactly the same in organizations. You're always going to have multiple channels. And I don't think we can solve that. I don't think you can say to people, stop using Excel, stop using reports, just use that dashboard. It just, it's not how organizations work and how people work because they'll always use what's simple and easy and comfortable for them at the time, just like a good old pair of slippers. So in that sense, the question is, well, what do you do? What do you really need to do as an organization? And the problem you need to solve is one of trust. When you've got this proliferation of data, you've got to make sure that everyone's using exactly the same data source and using the same number to describe the business. So how many customers do I have? What do they do? What do they buy? That's got to be governed and controlled. And so as an organization, you've got to focus on building a data architecture that is built for trust and allow people to use that for as many different delivery mechanisms as they like. And that's what I would do if I was thinking about data.